The big uh, breaking news coming in from the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court, in fact, has extended the stay on the execution uh, of Virapan Seth. And remember, earlier when the court was hearing this plea, this uh, stay was uh, up till Wednesday, that is today. And uh, there is going to be no hanging for now. Minakshi is with us for more on the phone line. Yes, Minakshi. Yes, absolutely. Just moments back, um, the bench comprising the Chief Justice of India. Uh, this was the bench, incidentally, wherein an urgent plea was made uh, on behalf of Vera Panthev. You'll recall just uh, a few days back, uh, uh, the, the execution itself uh, was stayed till uh, Wednesday. So the matter came up for cons uh, consideration again today. And uh, the Supreme Court has intervened and has... Uh, uh, indefinitely uh, kept the matter in suspension or has kept uh, indefinitely stayed the matter and uh, the reason uh, for doing so is uh, that uh uh, a likewise matter of Devendra Pal Singh Bhullar and one MN Das is pending for another bench of the Supreme Court, uh, wherein Bhullar and MN Das had approached the Supreme Court on the same grounds as these European aides have approached the Supreme Court. Primary ground is that uh, there was a lot of delay in disposing of uh, their mercy plea, as a result of which uh, they have suffered immeasurably. That was the main plea uh, which has been taken by Bhullar and MN Das on which another bench of the Supreme Court has heard uh, lengthy arguments and thereafter has kept its uh, judgment reserved. So this particular bench comprising the Chief Justice of India, uh, which uh, was hearing the Virapan Aid matter, has deemed it appropriate uh, to, kept, uh, to keep its decision uh, on the fate of uh, four Virapan Aid in a suspension for now and therefore their uh, imminent execution has been stayed for now. Back to you. Right, and Manakshi, in fact, uh, they even went to the Supreme Court uh, asking to commute the death sentence to life imprisonment because they said that there has been an inordinate delay in deciding on their mercy petition. Uh, sorry, could you repeat the question, please? Manakshi, the reason that they went to Supreme Court was for the fact that they said that there has been an inordinate delay in deciding on their mercy petition and that is why they were asking to, for their death sentences to be commuted. Yes, absolutely. That was the primary ground on this uh, basis which uh, we up and aides have uh, moved top court. And incidentally, what is very interesting is the fact uh, that in the last date of hearing, uh, we saw the top uh, legal officer of the government of India, the Attorney General, make a representation before this particular bench saying uh, that it was uh, completely uncalled for for the court to be interfering after the president has uh, given his opinion by way of rejecting the mercy plea. We also have some legal reactions coming in. Let's listen into them. <laughs> कोर्ट ने ये ऑर्डर किया है कि एक पेंडिंग पेटिशन राजीव गांधी पेटिशन जस्टिस जीएस सिंघवी के सामने ऑलरेडी पेंडिंग है बुल्लर केस में जजमेंट वहाँ रिजर्व्ड है तो कोर्ट ने आज सिक्स वीक्स का हमें फर्दर स्टे दिया है to see that uh, Mr. Singhvi ke ben se kya decision aata we have to wait till that time and after that this court will take a decision uh, on what to do further this court will hear our matter this matter is not being transferred to Justice Singhvi's bench Sir, in the case of the court, the judgment will come to the court court will listen to the court in the court and the court will listen to the court and the court जज बेंच से उनको प्रेयर क्या थी आपकी हमारी प्रेयर है कि ड्यू टू अनड्यू डिले मेन प्रेयर हमारी यही है कि ड्यू टू अनड्यू डिले इन एक्सिक्यूटिंग इन रिजेक्टिंग द मर्सी पटिशन द डेथ सेंटेंस शुड बी कम्यूटेड कम्यूटेड टू लाइफ सेंटेंस हमारा हमारा मेन प्रेयर ये है कि अनड्यू बिकॉज बहुत ज़्यादा डिले है मर्सी पटिशन के रिजेक्शन में देर डिले नौ साल का डिले है मर्सी पटिशन रिजेक्ट करने में इसी कारणवश क्योंकि जो वहाँ पे प्रिजनर्स हैं वो 50 से 65 के इयर्स के बीच के हैं वो काफ़ी बीमारियों से भी पीड़ित हैं कुछ एक को डायबिटीज़ है और पूरे बदन में उनके घाव और फोड़े हो रहे हैं और वो बहुत बुरी हालत में है तो ये हम चाहते हैं कि उनको प्रॉपर मेडिकल केयर मिले और उनको उनकी डेथ सेंटेंस लाइफ सेंटेंस में कम्यूट की जाए समीक जी एक इसमें बिल्कुल आम क्वेश्चन है जो हर किसी के जहन में हर आम जनता के जहन में है और हमसे भी जो है आम आदमी पूछता है कि जब राष्ट्रपति ने खारिज कर दी तो उसके बाद ये दोबारा से सुप्रीम कोर्ट का इशू किस आधार पर आएगा आपका? ये इस आधार पे है कि एक जजमेंट है हमारे कैर सिंह का जिसमें कहता है कि पावर ऑफ द प्रेसिडेंट अंडर आर्टिकल सेवेंटी टू to decide a mercy petition is subject to judicial review in, in case if there is undue delay in rejecting the mercy petition.
अच्छा अगली सुनवाई की तारीख क्या अगली सुनवाई की तारीख नहीं दी गई है छः हफ्ते का समय दिया गया है हमें छः हफ्ते के बाद कोर्ट फिर से इसको बोर्ड पे लेगी अभी स्टेट ऑफ कर्नाटका को दो हफ्ते का टाइम दिया गया है अपनी काउंटर एफिडेविट फाइल करने के लिए और उसके एक हफ्ते के बाद हमें अपना रिजॉइंडर एफिडेविट फाइल करना है द कोर्ट हैज डायरेक्टेड द स्टेट ऑफ कर्नाटका टू फाइल देर काउंटर एफिडेविट विद इन टू वीक्स and thereafter uh, they have given us one week time to file a rejoinder affidavit and the matter will be now taken up after 6 months what that is court have took kya ground liya ground the ground the ground is that since the uh, judgment in the bullar case is already pending before justice singh we they will uh, the chief court wants to wait for to see the decision of the justice singh we bench in the bullar case